Hey, it's Cynthia with Believer's House. And I wanted to share something that I just ran across uh, just the other day. And it's a kind of a cool story. So let me just go ahead and share the story and then we'll see where it goes from there. So I apologize for the reflection of my um glasses if they're reflecting blue. So an elephant and a dog became pregnant at the same time. So three months down the line, the dog gives birth to six puppies. And then six months later, the dog was pregnant again. And nine months later, it gave birth to another dozen puppies. And this pattern continued. So on the 18th month, the dog approached the elephant and questioning, are you sure that you're pregnant? Because we became pregnant on the same date around the same time. And I have given birth three times to a dozen puppies. And now they're grown to become big dogs. And you're still pregnant. What's going on? And the elephant replied, there is something I want you to understand. What I am carrying is not a puppy. It's an elephant. I only give birth in one. I only give birth to one every two years or in two years. When my baby hits the ground, the, gr the earth feels it. When my baby crosses the road, human beings stop and watch in admiration. What I carry draws attention. So what I'm carrying is mighty and great. So it can be hard sometimes to keep the faith as far as uh, not being discouraged when you've been praying about something, or maybe you have a vision that God is that God is placed within you that you're praying about that you want to see birth, or maybe you're not really sure what it is that God has placed you on this earth for, and you're kind of struggling and looking around and wondering where am I going to get this information? How am I going to finally connect to why I was put here on this earth? Um, there are several questions and several things that maybe we struggle with over a period of time. But I love this particular lesson and this particular story because it also shows that it depends on what you're birthing or what that you are struggling with in comparison to the time sometimes that it takes for those things to, to occur. I can say in my life right now, God is in the place of birthing something that's been in me for a very long time. I'm talking years. But all along the way, I was picking up tools and things that I needed in order to accomplish what God has truly called me to do that I'm now stepping into. So I just want to encourage you if you're out there and you're wondering if it's ever going to come about, about it does. And if you're in the midst of just beginning the stages, stick with it, stay with it, stay after God, stay after that intimacy, stay after going after him in prayer, stay after going after um time in the word and learning and gathering with other believers and putting yourself in a place where someone will sharpen you. You know what that is? That's not real comfortable where we rub shoulders with someone who may think a little bit differently than us or may challenge us in a way that we've not been challenged before. So I encourage you to stick with it because when God bursts something or God releases something in you, it, it, is, it is worthy enough. It is worthy because it's his it's his process, right? It is something that when it reaches the earth realm, that it does shake the atmosphere and the spirit realm. So I just want to encourage you with that today. I thought that was a great story that I could put some spiritual connotations to, and I hope you enjoy it. God bless you. Have a fabulous day.